Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. Outside the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, the financial heart of South Africa, was it beating in tandem when the finance minister delivered his budget speech in Cape Town today? But what does it mean for us? This is Eyewitness News. Compared to a year ago, the budget deficit for 2023-24 is estimated to worsen from 4% to 4.9% percent of GDP. The higher budget deficit means that debt service costs in 2023-24 have been revised higher by 15.7 billion to 356 billion. Some taxes go up, but our tax brackets stay the same. A can of beer increases by 14 cents. A can of cider and alcohol fruit beverage goes by 14 cents. A bottle of wine cost an extra 28 cents in terms of safe. A bottle of 45, uh, of 45 wine will cost an extra 47 cents. A bottle of sparkling wine will cost an extra 89 cents. Wait, a bottle of spirit, a bottle of spirits, including whiskey by food, Gin and vodka increases by 5.53. 5 rand 53 cents. Salim Bangalamat. 97 cents increase for to, pack a, to, to a pack of cigarettes and an extra 57 cents to, for a pipe of tobacco. You will be happy to hear that they are, we are tabling an increase of the excess duty on electric electronic nicotine and non-nicotine delivery systems known as vapes to three rand four cents per milliliter. South Africa's most controversial lovers were back in court today. Convicted murderer and rapist Tabo Besta and his girlfriend Nandipa Magadamana. The prison break case against convicted killer and rapist Tabo Besta will stall for another four months following a brief sitting in the Bloemfontein High Court. The matter was set down for pre-trial hearing today, but that could not proceed due to some of the accused changing legal representatives. Bester also changed his lawyers for the third time since his arrest in April last year. Advocate Mohamed Sidat came on record as his lawyer today, saying he only received instructions this morning. Sidat addressed the court on some concerns raised by Bester, alerting the court of his diabetes diagnosis. While well, prosecutor Amanda Bester told the court that Tabo Bester has been refusing prison food, Sidat says it was the officials who were not providing the necessary food for his client, but gave him high sugar and high carb meals. A win for a policy hated by many South Africans and linked to expediting the destruction of our economy. The High Court in Pretoria has dismissed the DA's application to have the ANC's cadre deployment policy declared unconstitutional. The case was argued before a full bench of judges last month, where the official opposition argued the policy allowed corruption to thrive and facilitated the looting of state coffers. On Monday, the ANC handed its cadre deployment records to the DA following an order by the Constitutional Court. The ANC says it will continue to practice its deployment as it believes the policy has recruited the most suitable candidates to serve in government positions. Judgment by the High Court are then dismissing the cost the application by the Democratic Alliance to have the ANC's data development policy and deployment strategy declared unconstitutional. The application brought by the DA was both legally unsound as well as uh, hypocritical. DA leader John Steenhuisen believes the High Court's ruling was flawed. What we will be doing is appealing this judgment our legal team is busy as we speak, uh, digesting the judgment, but we will appeal it to the SCA and potentially directly to the Constitutional Court. We believe there can be no greater constitutional imperative than to deal with this particular matter and its effect on South Africa. Putting a positive spin on the holdup of drivers petrified, trapped in their cars and robbed by armed gunmen. Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lusufi says the brazen robberies carried out by suspected illegal miners on the M1 highway in Johannesburg yesterday 
indicate that efforts to dismantle criminal syndicates are yielding results. Police arrested eight suspected Zamazamas who were nabbed during a shootout with police. This is an area there was where there was a robbery this morning. Uh, the robbery was due to the migrants which are staying under these, these bridges here. If you can see them there, in, in that area there. So the, the migrants are coming from that area and then they jump into the road where you find cars which are in a, a traffic. So, and then when they rob the, the people, they actually jump on the other side, as you can see here, yeah, on the other side there. So, so now, as the JMPD, we're going to deploy the freeway patrol. It will be stationed here. Saying goodbye for the last time. The SANDF held a repatriation ceremony for two soldiers killed in DRC. Captain Simon Mkulu Bobe and Lance Corporal Irvin Tabang Semono were killed when a mortar landed inside a military base in North Kivu last week. Bobe and Semono were deployed as part of a South African Development Community peace mission to support the DRC army who've been battling M23 rebels. President Cyril Ramaphosa recently authorized the deployment of 2,900 more soldiers to the country to help fend off attacks by M23 rebels in the east. And that's it from us today. See you same time, different place, tomorrow. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.